2012 may be remembered by the British hotel industry as a year of contrasts. The buoyancy of the domestic short break market, balanced by the challenge of a depressed corporate market. The opportunity presented by major events such as the Olympics and Diamond Jubilee, but with lingering fears of a post-event hangover and a legacy of oversupply. The continued strength of London against weaker demand in the provinces. A year of high-profile TV advertising campaigns and sponsorships, set against the reality of tight marketing budgets for many operators. My name is Matt Costin, Director of Hotels and Hospitality at BDRC Continental. In this short video, and with the aid of the 2013 British Hotel Guest Survey, I'm going to examine some of the latest trends in the British hotel industry. Which brands are thriving and which are stalling? What is the hierarchy of guest needs right now? What must you get right and what can you afford to trade off? How is consumer behaviour changing, whether during the information sourcing and booking process or perhaps while actually staying in hotels? Despite the gloomy economic backdrop, it certainly wasn't all bad news for the hotel industry last year. BDRC market sizing data shows that over 13 million British adults took a short break. That's over 1 million more of us than in the previous 12 months. This increase in participation has delivered an estimated 8 million additional room nights year on year. Hotels clearly benefited from a summer jam-packed with major events and the widely predicted post-Olympic hangover didn't materialise in the way that was expected. However, the business market was a less positive story. The decline in the number of people travelling in Britain for business was 5%. But this 5% resulted in a fall in business room night volume of nearly 10%, or approximately 5 million room nights. And some of the growth of the short break market came at the expense of longer stay volume. The net effect, combined with the poor performance of the business market, was a slight contraction in overall domestic room night volumes.